Liberty Bowl is closing out on a sellout Saturday as ESPN crews prepare to set up Memphis football's first college game day broadcast in history. Today, City of Memphis leaders also outline which streets around the show's taping will be impacted in the coming days. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live in downtown Memphis this evening. Brad, tell us all about it. We'll get... Well, Katina, once the Elton John concert wraps up tonight at FedEx Forum, this stretch of BB King between Peabody Place and MLK Boulevard will be closed for traffic until Saturday night so ESPN College Game Day crews can set up and break down their stages. Today, as other crews ready Beal for broadcast, Memphis football tickets are selling fast. Memphis Tigers Blue is invading Beale Street. This afternoon, city crews put these signs on light poles on the iconic street before ESPN crews begin their stage setup work overnight for the college game day show Saturday morning. This city's got a very unique relationship between the university and the city. You don't see this type of cooperation everywhere. Today, City of Memphis leaders also released this map of downtown street closures starting at midnight and ending Saturday night after the college game day broadcast. They didn't get a whole lot better than this. Nor does the ticket demand for Saturday's game. U of M leader said there are now less than 5,000 tickets available before the Liberty Bowl's first sellout since the Ole Miss game in 2015. That's why U of M junior Ezekiel Mendez and other fans moved fast to snag their tickets this afternoon. I wanted to come get them yesterday, but it totally slipped my mind. And I was like, oh, man, they're probably going to be gone today. So, yeah. Um, I woke up early this morning, drove to school, came to pick them up. It looks like things are moving pretty quickly, so I'm glad I was able to come on down and pick out my tickets rather than figuring it out online. Now, football fans on Saturday morning will be allowed to get in position for ESPN's college game day beginning at 5.30 Saturday morning. If you need another look at which streets will be impacted around Beale Street ahead of Saturday's broadcast, log on to our website, localmemphis.com. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Brad Broders, Local 24 News. Brad, thank you. And Local 24 has your game day coverage, and we're going live from the Tigers Den. Join us for our hour-long special on Saturday's game day this Friday starting at 6. And if you can't make it to the game, don't worry because Local 24 has a front row seat for you. We're the only place where you can watch the Tigers take on SMU Live and you can catch it right here at 6.30 Saturday night.